It's a proxy war, as we know, in Ukraine, just as the proxy war in Syria was being carried out. That they were sending huge amounts of money and weapons to al-Nusra and Daesh in Syria and Iraq, and now they're sending it to these neo-Nazi groups in, uh, in southeastern Ukraine, who have been largely defeated in a way, and they're creating their own militia from the NATO groups. Now there is a new confrontation between Russia and the British, which are deeply involved in attacks on Crimea. And, uh, and so the, this, uh, the escalation of the crisis in Ukraine is, is recent and significant, but uh, in many respects it parallels the proxy wars they've carried out against really all of the independent um, states here in West Asia. Mm -hmm. Do you think yeah. that they are intervening now in the Iranian They are intervening protests? right now. In fact, it's Nowadays? very similar to the way they intervened in Syria in 2011. They have taken cover under a type of protest movement and they put their assets, Daesh and the MEK, in, in to kill security forces. It's very, it looks very like Syria in March 2011. In Iran, are there protests, rightful protests or riots? There are protests, there have been protests, and there have been people who, for different reasons, uh, are concerned about things, but they have been infiltrated by terrorist groups who are assets of the US. And we know their names, and we know where they are trained, and we know who is funding them, and the same people are funding them. The Saudis, of course, are also funding them. Most of the media articles do not mention the Palestinians, do not mention the massacre of Palestinians there. And, of course, then the, the racialized massacres based on a pseudo-racial theory about some mythical people that own the Levant land is what I was, why I was making the parallel with Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, people do make the parallel with Nazi Germany too much, but I think when people have this pseudo-racial theory, they carry out large-scale racialized massacres against thousands of people, in, and mainly civilians, in Gaza. I think that parallel is justified.